Hello beautiful people, good day and welcome back to my channel. It's Doris here as we all know and I'm back with another video as usual. If you are new here, thank you so much for stopping by, thank you so much for clicking. If you want to be a part of this family of which I promise you are going to enjoy, please just take a few seconds to click on the subscribe button down below and then after clicking, a bell icon is going to appear. Please click on the bell icon so you get notified whenever I get to post a new video. And then to my old subscribers, thank you all so much for the love, for you, for the fact that you keep coming back. I really appreciate it. Thank you so, so so much god bless you all um so in today's video i'll be doing the get to know me tag which is more like a tmi because i'll be answering over 300 questions possibly i'm not sure but i think possibly i'll be answering over 300 questions just so you guys can get to know much about me and then for this get to know me tag i want to tag one person to, to also make this video and the person i'll be tagging is not another person but lily Pot tv guys if you are yet to know her if you are yet to come across her channel please go and check her channel i'm sure you're going to love it it's going to be something what is i can promise you i can assure you so i'll be tagging lily Pot but challenging her to do this tmi get to know me tag video like i want her to answer over 300 questions answer as much as possible because i would love to know a lot about you i'm not sure if i'll be able to answer the over 300 questions but i'll try as much as possible to answer what i can answer so for lily pope to answer as much as you can answer it will not be over 300 but you have over 300 questions answer as much as you can um when i'm tired i'll just end the video because i'm i don't think i'll be able to answer over 300 but let's see how it goes so if you want to know more about me just sit down relax grab your popcorn and let's get right into the video all right guys welcome so let's start the first question what is your full name my full name is doris iari ewefa um, the second question, what does your name mean? The name Doris means gift from God. Then the next question, are you named after anyone? No, I'm not named after anyone. And even if I am, I'm not aware. I don't know about it. Then next question, if you had to change your first name, what would you change it to? Um, as long as I don't really like my name, let me be sincere, I don't really like my name, but I'm not really sad now to think of what other name I would love to answer aside my name. So I don't really know. Where are you from? I'm from Delta State, Nigeria. Where were you born? I was born in Abuja, Karimu to be precise. Then, where did you grow up? I also grew up in Abuja. Like, I was born and brought up in Abuja. It was when I started schooling that I went to Delta State. But I was born and brought up in Abuja. Okay. Who did you look up to growing up? Who did I look up to? Who did I look up to? I cannot think of anyone. Let me just be sincere. I cannot think of anyone that I will say, okay, I looked up to this person when I was gr growing up. So, nobody. The next question, what are your favorite things about yourself? I would say the favorite thing about myself is the fact that, like, I love being creative. I love, I just love being creative with my time. I love putting, like, two pieces together to see what it can, to see what I can create. I, do, I love to learn new things. I love to create. So that's one thing I know I really love about myself. I'm open to learning things and then like putting things together to create something new, to create something different. So that's one thing I really love about myself, if I must say. The ninth question, which of your par parents are you closest to? Um, growing up, I used to be close to my dad, but right now I'm closer to my mom. Number 10, which of your parents are you more like? I'm more like my mom. I think so. I, I cannot say my dad, so I'll say I'm more like my, my mom. Number 11, are your grandparents still married? My grandparents are late. It's just my maternal grandma that is alive, so that's it. The next question, what relative was important to you growing up and why? Uh, what relative, what relative, what relative was really important to me? I can't really think of any relative that was really important to me or that was just important to me growing up. I know I valued my parents. I really, really do. Important. Okay, let me just say my parents. Yeah. Um, the next question, what is one thing that you've never revealed to your parents? <laughs> uh, Luna, what if I get to reveal it and they get to watch this video, they'll find out. I don't really think I'm ready to reveal that one thing to them, so I'll let that one pass. The next question, what do your parents have named you if you are the opposite gender? I don't know. Next question, what do you call your grandparents? Like I said, my grand my grandparents are late. It's just my maternal grandmother is alive and I call her mama. If you are in Nigeria, I'm sure you can relate. 
Next question, what is your best physical feature? Um, I don't know, I don't know, I cannot say what my best physical feature is, but if you feel like you know what my best physical fe uh, feature is, please just leave it down in the comment section. The next question says, what is your biggest accomplishment? Um, I don't really think I've really accomplished something that I'll say, this is my biggest accomplishment. Uh, no. I want there are things I've accomplished, but I won't say my biggest. I mean, my biggest accomplishment is yet to come. So, so very soon, I'm just so excited and hopeful because I know that very soon I will get to my biggest accomplishment. So, the next question: What is your biggest fear? My biggest fear, sincerely speaking, my biggest fear would be to get married to the wrong person or to be unsuccessful in life. Like I dread those two things a lot. I dread those two things a whole lot. So that I'll say that is my biggest fear. Then the next question: What is your biggest regret? My biggest regret. Okay. Um, my biggest regret would be the fact that um, after my secondary school, I I had always wanted to study law. Not really. I had always wanted to study law. But my dad, I think my dad really wanted me to study law. And even when it, it got to a time I put mask on, it was like, no, change it to law, you must study law and stuff like that. Uh, so I kept applying, 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 trying for law. Even when I get up to the cut of mark, I'm not giving law. And then that was how I wasted six whole years of my life because I wanted to study law. And at the end of the day, it's mass come and I still got to study or I'm still getting to study now, which is so, so annoying because I know that by now I'm supposed to have been done with school and then doing something else with my life. Right now, I'm still schooling, I'm still trying to get the BSc or whatever. So, my biggest regret would be the fact that I did not really, like, I was not really, really, what's the word? Um, my biggest regret would be the fact that I did not get to stand my ground. Like, when my dad was saying, you must go for law, I did not get to stand my ground to say, okay, I want to go for mask up, or I'm going to take whatever they're giving to me. And it just made me to waste a whole lot of years that I would have used to do something better. So I'll say that's my biggest regret. But then again, it's all in the past now. There's nothing I can do about it. Let me say there's a purpose for everything to an extent. Okay, the next question. What is your eye color? My eye color is not black. It's not really brown. In between black and brown. Just in between. Like, mm -hmm, that's what I'll say. Um, the next question. What inspires you? Uh, what inspires me would be the uh, what really inspires me successful people inspire me a whole lot like I get inspired by when I get to see successful people it inspires me to do a whole lot it inspires me to be a better person in life so I would say successful people in general they inspire me okay the next question what is the most important thing in your life the most important thing in my life for now, it's not thing, I would not say thing, but the most important whatever in my life right now is family. Like for now, they are the most important in my life as it is. The next question, what has required the most courage of you in your life so far? What has required the most courage? Mm, there's nothing I can really think of. There's nothing I can really think of. What has required the most courage? I really cannot tell for now. Okay, the next question, what is your favorite color? Black. Like, <laughs> I love black. I don't know why, like, black is my go-to color. I just love black. Black. You can never go wrong with black. So, my favorite color is black. I can wear black and black even when there's heat. I just love that color. Who is your favorite celebrity? Um, Kylie Jenner. Like, uh -huh. Kylie, Kylie Jenner is a celebrity for all I care. So, she's my favorite um, celebrity. I just... I love her. I love, love Kylie Jenner. So, yeah. Then the next question. Who is your favorite musician? My favorite musician for Nigerian, I'll say, um, yeah, my favorite musician, my, Niger my favorite Nigerian musician is Johnny Drew. Wow, if he's not in Nigerian, I'll say either um, Ed Sheeran or um, Maroon 5. Any of those two. I just cannot choose one between those two. But it's any of those two. Then the next one, who is your favorite person in the world? <laughs> oh, for now, let me say for now, my favorite, like my favorite person in the world is my little nephew, Ethan. I'm obsessed with that boy, like I love him so much. He's my favorite, my favorite person in this whole world. He makes me smile, he makes me, he's just so sweet, so cute. Oh god, like 
he's my favorite for now he's my favorite person in the world just take it or leave it that's it he is the one okay the next question um what is your favorite childhood memory i don't really my favorite childhood memory i don't think i really have a favorite like a very very favorite childhood memory or maybe I cannot remember, but if I cannot remember, that means it's not favorite. So I'll just say I don't have a favorite childhood memory. What is your favorite drink? Hollandia yogurt. And it's that is so much me. That is very, very like me. Hollandia yogurt. I'm obsessed with Hollandia yogurt. That's just it. The next question What is your favorite fairy tale? My favorite fairy tale. My favorite fairy tale. Would I say Cinderella? Happily ever after. Yeah, that's my favorite. Fairy tale. What is your favorite food? Oh, my all time favorite food that I just cannot get over. You see, party jollof rice. Like when I say party, those smoky party jollof rice, that's my favorite. Then if you have to talk about swallow, fufu and vegetable soup with a lot of orishi, orishi and obstacles inside. Just give me that one. With Hollandia, you got ah, that's just it. Let me just leave it at that. Okay, the next question. What is your favorite holiday destination? My favorite holiday destination. If it's in Nigeria, I think I would love to do it in Calabar. But if it's not in Nigeria, I think I'll say Paris. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll say Paris. That's it. Okay. What is your favorite ice cream flavor? My favorite ice cream flavor, banana. Like, if you just give me banana ice cream, oh my god, oh my god, killing me, I die. <laughs> like, I really, really love banana ice cream. Then, if there's no banana, you can give me vanilla. Banana or vanilla, those two, they're my best, they're my favorite. Okay, the next question says, um, what is your favorite music genre? I would say blues. Like, I really, really love blues. Like, I'm a love, love person. I love love, so that's it what is your favorite physical activity i would say just walking like strolling when it's evening when the sun is down that's just it then the next one what is your favorite quote it's well i always say this it's well it's well so that i'll just say that's my favorite what is your favorite snack donut with a bit of nutella in the middle or puff puff those two things, even meat pie, all these stuffs like meat pie, donut, puff puff, yeah, I really love them, like nice ones, yeah. What is your favorite song? My favorite song, favorite song. Uh, I have a lot of favorite songs, so. but for now, the one I'm listening to now, it's not a Nigerian music, but the one I'm listening to now, Surrender by Natalie Taylor, that would be my favorite for now. What's your favorite time of the day, night, when I can just lie down, press my phone, do whatever I want to do? before I sleep. What is your favorite type of clothing? Uh, I don't really have a favorite, but if I must say, I will say I love short gowns, like short, simple, cheap gowns. Next question, what is your favorite way to pass time? Watching movies, like I can just lie down, relax, I'm watching movies, I'm okay. What is the name of your favorite restaurant? I don't really eat out, so I won't say I have a favorite restaurant, but a few times I've eaten out. I'll say routines like that's my favorite for now. What is your favorite social media channel? My favorite social media channel. It used to be Instagram, but now uh kill me on YouTube. I'm always on YouTube. I'm obsessed with YouTube now. What is your favorite subject? What was your favorite subject in high school? My favorite subject in high school, I'll say was home economics. Anything that has to do with cooking, food. I love it. Then, what was your least favorite subject in high school? I'll not say my, my least favorite subject in high school. I'll say my worst subject in high school. From high school till date is mathematics. Like, ah, I hate math. If it's not one plus one or anything involving money, just forget it. Or which sometimes when it's even involving money, it's confusing. But at least I can manage money and then one plus one. But anything aside that, please, just, just come and be good. What was your favorite TV show when you were when you were a child? Steals by Moonlight. I love them. Are you scared of heights? I used to think I was not scared of heights. So till when I climbed this overhead bridge, the people will call it fly over here in Nigeria. When I climbed, that was when I knew that I was scared of heights. Like oh god, I have to hold someone and close my eyes. If not, then I would say yes. I would say I'm scared of heights. For all I care, for now I would say I'm scared of heights. Then the next question. Are you high maintenance? Mm. 
I will not I will not say I'm really really high maintenance. Maybe later in the future I can be high maintenance, but for now I'll just say I'm me I'm medium maintenance. Let's just leave it at that. Yes. Okay. Are you more inclined to build your own empire or unleash the potentials of others? Well, as much as I would love to unleash the potentials of others, I think I'm more inclined to building my own empire. Like, let me build my own empire first. It's not me being stingy. It's just me, like, trying to help myself at the end of the day. Because how many people are really more inclined to um, unleashing the potentials of others um, instead of building their own empire? So for me, if I'm being sincere, I'll say I'll build my own empire. When I build my own empire first, before I now unleash the potentials of others. But even the Bible said. Clear the one in your eyes first before you clear the one in the eyes of your neighbors. So our next thing, I'm just joking, no pun intended, but that's just it. Okay, are you more likely to avoid conflict or engage in it head on? It depends on the kind of conflict. If it's something I'm trying to prove a point, something I'm interested in, then I think I'll engage in it head on. But if it's something I'm not interested in, please, I'll just avoid it. Are you a dog person or a cat person? I don't love both, but if I'm to choose, I can manage dog or cat. No, 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 no. no? The next question, are you a fan of any sports team? No, I'm not. I'm not a sports person. I won't even lie. I don't want to uh, Let me not start talking. I'm this and that. No, I'm not a sports person. I'm not a fan of anyone. But maybe um, later in the future, I'll be a fan of my husband's sports team. <laughs> oh my God. Are you a good cook? Yes, so for all I care, I, and at least from the compliments I receive from people, I would say, yes, I'm a good cook. Okay, are you an early adopter or a late adopter? It depends on what I'm adopting to or what I'm adapting to. So, it depends. Sometimes I'm an early adopter, sometimes I'm late. It just depends. Next question. If you had more courage, what would you do differently in your life now? What would I do differently in my life now? Okay, I think I would like try to stand my ground. Like, try to be more strong-hearted than soft-hearted. Yes, that's what I would have done. That's what I would do differently if I if I had the courage. That's what I would have done differently if I had the courage. The next question: What is good about how you are living your life right now? Um, what is good about how I'm living my life right now is the fact that I'm just taking life anyhow it comes. Like I'm trying as much as possible not to think too much. Anyhow it goes, I just take it that way, one step at a time. Just go with the flow. So that's what I would say is good about the way I'm living my life right now. The next question, if you could eliminate one weakness or limitation in your life, what would it be? It would be the fact that I'm very, very soft-hearted. I'm soft-hearted to a fault. So if I'm to em eliminate it, because that's a weakness, that's what I'll eliminate, being soft-hearted. The next one, who has left the most impact on your life? I would say my mom. My mom has left the most impact on my life. Yeah, my mom. And then myself. I've left, I've left a lot of impact in my life or on my life the next question what aspect of your life needs tremendous improvement aside the fact that i need a lot of money in my life i'll still say the fact that i'm too soft-hearted it needs improvement like i need to like gather that mind gather that courage chop liver a bit then the next question who was your best teacher who has been your best teacher um, for secondary school, I would say my CRS teacher, Mr. Seth, that man is, he would make heaven. He's a really, really sweet, quiet, ah, I love that man. Like, I really, really do love him. Then for now, now, for now, I'll say Dr. Joyce Ogwes, that woman, she's the bomb. Like, I really, really love that woman. If she teaches you here, oh my God, if she teaches you, there's no way you will not grab. And she's teaching with real life experiences, real life examples. Ah, no, her class, you can, she can teach for three hours straight and I'm not tired because everything about her. Okay, who is the first person you call when something exciting happens? The first person I call when something bad happens is the first person I'll still call when something exciting happens. So when something bad happens, it depends on how bad, I don't really think I'll call my mom first. I'll call a very close friend. So I think that's the first person I'll see. That's the person I'll call when something exciting happens. It depends on how exciting and it depends on what it's, how it is. If it's something I can share with my mom, my mom will be the first person I'll call first. But if not, my friend, like my two very very good friends, their sisters, those will be the persons that all the first. Uh, yes, those will be the persons that I'll call first if need be. Okay, who is the first person you call when something horrible happens? Like I said, my two very good friends they are both their sisters it's all of them are sisters 
those those persons that that I can call any time of the day, like even at night, I can call them and then they'll answer me. Those two persons are just I can call them when something horrible happens. I can call them when something nice happens. So that's just it. Okay, the next question: Who is the worst boss? The worst boss you've ever had? I've not really worked like worked worked on the summer, so I don't really have the worst boss. Can you close your eyes and raise your eyebrows? Okay, let me try. I don't know. Did I do it? I don't know. That's it. That's, that's as far or as much as I can go. The next question says, can you whistle? Uh, no, I can't. Let me not even fool myself. The next question, can you dance? No, I can't dance. Like, I'm the worst dancer ever. The next question says, do you remember your dreams? I remember my dreams sometimes. Sometimes I don't. And I'm sure I'm not the only one in that category. The next question, do you save old greeting cards and letters or you throw them away? It's depending on how how I hold it, like it depends on how the person is to me. Sometimes I throw it away, sometimes I keep them. The next question, do you sing in the shower? Of course, I think every, almost everyone do that. Do you sleep with the lights on or off? Off now. If it's on, I really cannot sleep and beg. Off. I sleep with my lights off. The next question, do you prefer kissing or cuddling? For me, ho, ho, ho. For me, hmm, I prefer cuddling anytime, any day. Like, I just love to cuddle. I don't know why. I just love, love, love to cuddle. The next question, do you prefer that people shoot straight with you or they temper with their words? Just be straight. Don't, I don't like any corner corner. Just be straight. Just come out straight. Do you prefer Titanic or the notebook? I don't know. I think I prefer Titanic. Okay. Do you have a garden? No. I don't have maybe later in the future of which it will consist of flowers and all of that good stuff but for now i don't do you have a hidden dream that you've never shared with anyone yes i have i have a lot of hidden dreams that i've not shared with anyone do you have a tattoo no i don't or maybe i'll have it soon i don't know i'm just joking i really have it has really never crossed my mind to have a tattoo so that's just it do you have a whole lot of acquaintances or just a few very close friends and why? Um, I don't think I have a whole lot of acquaintances. I think I'll have, I will say I have very few friends, like very, very few. The next question says, do you have any bet marks? If so, where? Yes, I have bet marks. I think I have one, like, by the side, by my side here. I have one here, I have one here, there. I have one close to my name. So, yes, I do have pets. The next question, do you have pets? No, I don't have pets. Like, I've not been taking care of myself. Is it to start taking care of pets? I don't have any pets. The next question, do you hold any convictions that you would be willing to die for? Oh, uh, not really. I beg. It's not, it's not worth dying for. So, at the end of the day, I'll just say it. So, there's no conviction I have that I'm willing to die for. Do you carry a donor card? No, I don't carry anyone. The next question, do you have a best friend? If so, then who? Oh, yes, I have a best friend, but I'm not mentioning the person's name. The next question, do you believe ignorance is bliss? Why or why not? Ignorance is not bliss. No, I don't think ignorance is bliss. It could be bliss to an extent, but for me, I don't feel like ignorance is bliss, so no. Do you believe in love at first sight? Yes, I do believe. I don't know why, but I really do believe in love at first sight. Like, it's possible to just meet someone and then... You have, like, get swept off your feet. Even if it's not love from the initial stage, but that, that, that butterfly in your belly that you get to feel at that particular time can really turn to love. So, yes, I believe in love at first sight. The next question, who performs the most random act of kindness out of everyone you know? Out of everyone I know. I know a lot of persons that perform the most random acts of kindness, but, like... Mm, Tosin, yes, Tosin, she performs like the most ra random act of kindness, just like that, she's just being kind, both to those she's supposed to be kind to and those she's not supposed to be kind to, she's just being kind to them, so yes, I would say that person. The next question says, who sent the last text message you received? MTN. MTN, they sent the last text message I received. And I think I'm going to end, end this video anytime soon because I'm already getting tired, my mouth is already feeling me, so let me see how much I can answer before then. So who was the last person you ended it now with? Myself. Who was your first boyfriend? It was the first, fine, but it's in the past, so I'm not mentioning any name. 
Okay, who was your first celebrity crush? I cannot recall. The next question, who was your first friend in college? Joy Bello. The next question, who would you tell first if you found a dead body in your garden? If I should find a dead body in my garden now, the person I'll call first is BDM and her sister Tosin. Those two individuals I was talking about. Yes, it's not because they are bad persons, they are very sweet individuals, but like I said, I, I just feel like I can tell them anything. So if something like that should happen, they'll be the first persons I'll call. Okay, the next question, what is your idea of special time together? Just I would say just bonding, like getting to talk about random things, also important things. That is just like a special time together for me. Next question. What is the what is your most used swear word? My most used swear word. Um rubbish. I don't know if, if I'll call it a swear word, but that's what I use the most, especially when I'm angry. What is your star sign? I don't know, please. Pardon me, I don't know. Okay, what is something that amazes you? like when i get to see when i get to see family that they have this very strong bond a husband and wife with this very peculiar relationship being so sweet and amazing it really amazes me like i'm i'll be like wow so people like this still exist like when i just get to see any very very random and nice act of kindness or relationship it amazes me because it makes me say question that oh so things like this or people like this still exist the next question what is at the top of your bucket list to make as much money as possible to afford everything i need and the things that my mom would need so that would be like the first thing on my bucket list what is something you look for in a partner something i look for i just cannot say one but aside the fact that i need someone that is like trustworthy and understanding i also i also look for i look what something else i look for in a partner is someone that is really concerned that really knows how to care that something that bothers me bothers him some if i should just say something like that someone so caring and pay attention to details yeah that's something i look for in a partner what is the name of your first pet? For Christ's sake, I don't have any pet too. I've never had a pet, so no name. The next question, what scares you about aging? What really scares me? Nothing really scares me about aging because I just have it in mind that it's inevitable. So nothing scares me about aging. The next question, how difficult is it for you to be honest even when your, your words may be hurtful or unpopular? I try, I don't know, it's very difficult to be honest sometimes but it depends on the person in question if it's someone i really love i know they say if you love someone you tell the person the truth i it's difficult for me it's not as if i don't get to see it's not as if i don't get to be honest but it's difficult for me i just try as much as possible to like sugarcoat the word let it not be let it not hurt the person in any way but if, but if it's someone i don't care about sorry oh, sorry about that but i tell you as it is straight up take it or leave it Okay, the next question, how difficult is it for you to forgive someone who refuses to apologize? It's very difficult. How will you know that you're supposed to apologize and you are not apologizing? Although sometimes, after some time, I just say, okay, let me just ignore. But once the person apologizes, ah, it's very, very easy for me to forgive. I forgive like a fool. <laughs> That's it. Okay. The next question, how far away from your bed place do you live now? I'll say like eight to nine hours. That's, my bed place is Abuja. And I live in Delta State, so it's like eight to nine hours, roughly. Yeah. Then the next question. Okay. How has your bet other or characteristics of sibling affected you? It has affected me to an extent because I'm the middle child. Like we have five children, I'm the one in the middle. I have two elder ones, two younger ones, and I just feel like for most of my years on it, I've just been alone. I've just been on my own that that different person the old one out i would say so it affected me to an extent because sometimes i find it really hard to relate with people i just like being on my own okay the next question how many boyfriends have you had <laughs> one or two okay let me not say that one i don't really want to count it but if i should count it i'll say i've had two that's it then the next question how many countries have you been to none but many more in the future. I'm just so optimistic. I'm so hopeful about the future. Yes, many more in the future. How many oceans have you swam in? Not in none. I'm not so I've never gone swam in swimming pool. I don't even know how to swim. Okay, the next question says, How many pair of shoes do you currently own? Uh, I don't know. It's up to 10, but I don't know how much more 
than 10 they are so i'll just say like from 10 and above the next question how many relationships have you been in just i don't want to count that one but if i must count if i must count <laughs> Let me just say two, but that's just no more than two, just two relationships all my life. Then the next question, how many tattoos do you have? I don't have any tattoos, like I said. The next question, how old do you think you'll be when you get married? 20-something. 20-something, let's just leave it at that. The next question, how old were you when you learned to learn to ride a bike? I still don't know how to ride a bike till date. Don't judge me, please. Okay, the next question, what store would you choose to max out your credit card? Mm, I'm not really a kind of shopping shopping person, but a store that I know I can get everything from clothes to food to toiletries, accessories, all those good stuff. That's the store I'll just go to. Something like ShopRite, for instance. Okay, so the next question Have you ever considered living abroad? Um, yeah, I would say indifferent, not really indifferent about it, but growing up, I used to always say, I want to stay abroad, I want to stay abroad. Then after growing up a bit, I was like, I really think I love Nigeria, like to get to adapt to their food, their way of life and other things. I don't know if it's going to be easy, but for now, right now, I would say I really don't mind. Yes, I can stay abroad as much as I want to be in Nigeria, but living abroad is also not a bad, bad idea for me. So, yes, I've considered it a lot of times and I'm open to it. Okay, the next question, how many days could you last in solitary confinement? I can last... As long as there's food, there's water, and maybe a phone with good network, I can last as long as so. That's just a good food. Though. The next question Have you forgiven yourself for past personal failures? Why or why not? Um, I've forgiven myself for some, then for others, I've not forgiven myself. I feel like it's a gradual process, so I'm gradually getting to forgive myself. The next question Have you ever suffered a fracture? No. I've had a very terrible, a major accident, a very terrible accident, but I've never suffered a fracture. The next question, have you ever dated two people at a time? No, I've never done that. Never will do that because I just can't. If I love one person, I don't love that person. I cannot, if I'm, uh -uh. if I'm dating two people, that means the other person, I don't really love the person. So what's the need? When I don't like someone, I cannot even stand the person. Talk more of to say, let me just date this person. And, no, I've never, I never have and never will. So that's just the sincere truth i'm not saying yes have you ever been in, in the beauty pageants no i'm just too shy to do that very very shy i can't <laughs> i cannot imagine myself doing it i'm a very shy person guys okay have you ever ridden on a motorbike yes i have but i i was not the one riding but on a motorbike yes the next question have you ever taken self-defense lessons i've not but i plan to do that and then my children they will all of them, from the guys to the girls, they will all take self-defense lessons. Like, you need to protect yourself, you know. Have you ever visited a country outside your continent? No, I've never. But I will soon, by God's grace. Have you ever won a trophy or an award? And what was it for? I don't think I really won a trophy or an award. Nah. After a breakup, would you rather be alone or be surrounded by friends? No, I don't want to be alone. I love to be surrounded by few, very few good friends. What female celebrity do you wish was your sister? Any of the Kardashian sisters? I do wish the, one of them was my sister. What flavor of tea do you enjoy? It's coffee, chocolate, I mean, how do they call it? But that is just the, uh, my flavor of tea that I know I really enjoy. Which other one am I supposed to enjoy? That's what I enjoy. Okay. Okay, what is the one thing you'd rather pay someone to do than for you to do it yourself? To clean a very, like, a dirty, dirty, dirty place. I hate cleaning all dirty places. That's why I prefer to clean always because leaving it to get dirty is very disgusting to clean. The next question. Um, what is the last compliment you got? That my hair was fine. That was, like, the last compliment. The next question. What is the most boring movie you watched? I would not really say boring, boring, you know. It's like it's not really like I'm on the top among the list of boring movies I've watched. But what I would say is boring because it was hyped. They were like it's interesting, it's interesting, but at the end of the day I don't really get to enjoy it. Um, please don't come for me or I'm just joking. I just say let me put this out. But the name of the movie was Greatest Showman. Like it was really, really hyped. And when I watched it, it's not as if it's boring, but there was nothing really fantastic about it. Okay. 
what is your reaction towards people who are outspoken? I really admire them because I feel like I'm not really outspoken. So when I, I really, when I see people that are, are outspoken, I admire them. I just say, oh, I wish to be really, really as outspoken as this particular person. So what is the farthest away place you've been? Delta State. That's. I've not really been so far, far, far because I've not left Nigeria. But if I'm saying far from the place my family stay, which is in Abuja or Nasrawa State, I would say Delta State. Then the next question, what is under your bed? The floor, the ground, that was under my bed. What is on the walls of your, the room you are in? Nothing. Um, aside this one, if you are to talk about the room I'm in now, aside this, there's nothing else on the wall. Okay. Uh, what is the one guilty pleasure you enjoy too much to give up? Taking sweet things. Like, I really, really enjoy it. That it's hard. I try to give up. Or I try to stop. But it's just so hard. The next question. What is something about yourself that you hope you will change? But I probably never will. I will not say I, prob I probably never will. I will learn to. That is the part of the, me being too soft. I don't, I'm not saying I'll probably never wear. I know it's going to be hard, but I'll try to change it. Where do you buy your jeans? In the market too. Where were you on Valentine's Day? I think I was, I was either at home or I was in class. Any of those two. Where would you want to retire to? Retire, retire. I don't know. But it's too early to start thinking of where I'll retire to, please. It's like too, too early. So no idea for now. The next thing, what is something you wish you were gifted at doing? Um, dancing, yes, I wish I was gifted at dancing, but if aside dancing, I wish I was gifted at making money, like everything about that is in my head, this is my head, is just money, so I wish I was gifted at making money. Okay, what is the best compliment you've ever received? I don't know, I cannot really tell, although recently Lily Pope again, she complimented me, she was like, I love your lips. It was really nice, Sha. I know that I've received that compliment a lot, but I don't really love my lips. But when she said it, it was like, okay, okay. It's a very nice compliment, but because it's more like she's trying to, that's not what she was trying to do, but for me, I said, okay, it's just like nursing my wounds, like trying to make me feel better, let me feel better about myself. So it was a, it was a nice compliment, okay? What is the first movie you remember seeing? I cannot record now. I don't keep track, please. I've seen a lot of movies in this my life, but that's what I do just past time. So I cannot recall the first movie I've ever seen. What is the first thing you do when you get home? When I get home, remove everything that is just giving me discomfort first. Then if I'm testing, maybe drink water or something else first. Okay. What is the one item you can't leave home without? My ATM, in case I throw somebody's gary on the road so that I'll see money to pay. Yes, my ATM. Aside my phone, of which it's not all the time I go out without uh, with my phone, but I cannot go without my without my ATM or without money. If I'm not going out with my ATM, I will go out with money. Money is very important. Let me not throw somebody's gary. They will say I should pay. I'll say I don't have money. Okay. <laughs> what do you like about your home? What do I like about my home? I just love the fact that. It's just there. It's just there. It gives me comfort. When when I'm home, I feel I feel really really at home. I just feel okay. So that's just it. What do you love about living in your neighborhood? It's just that the place is safe. If not, there's nothing else. Not this my neighborhood. This is my family house. This is where I am presently. But my own neighborhood is just about the fact that the place is safe. If not, nothing else that I really love about it. The next question. If you could ch change something about your home without worry about expenses or mess, what would you do? Like, is to renovate it totally and completely. I'm obsessed with interior decors. Like, when I see a very, a very well furnished house, a well decorated house, oh god, it turns me on. I love it. So if um, if there's something I could change about my home without worry of the expensive expenses or mess, it would be to totally decorate the house to my taste. Like everything. Oh my god, I'm obsessed with interior decor now. So that's what I'll do. Are you a morning person or a night person? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I'll just say night. Let me just say night. What time do you usually get up in the morning? Since this lockdown or this um, self-isolation or quarantine or something, I wake up around 7. 
some it used to be 656 but now it's seven and then even today it was 7 40. so i don't even have a particular time it depends on when i sleep because i get to sleep very late then what is your usual bedtime my usual bedtime is 10 p.m but sometimes i stay up till 1 1 a.m before i sleep what is the first thing you do when you open your eyes in the morning these days i'm learning so much more to pray because i won't even lie there sometimes i don't get to pray but the first thing i do when i wake up in the morning this nowadays is to pray then pick up my phone okay guys i won't even lie like this video has been so so sweet like i know i know i've answered over 100 questions like almost over 150 questions but i'm i still it's just in i just feel like i should continue answering the questions but then again i don't want to make the video too long because i know that even you or yourself you'll be too tired to watch so i think i'll just end this question here or i'll just answer five more questions and i'll end it but this is like the best video it's like the best video i've tried to film like i really enjoyed every single moment of it but meanwhile if you want to see more if you want to see the end of this video just leave it in the comment section and i'll do well to make more of this video but before then let me answer five more questions okay the next question um what is the first app you check when you wake up in the morning youtube i youtube is the first app i check then instagram but youtube is the first sometimes youtube studio before any other thing the next question when was the first time you were allowed to put on makeup i cannot recall the, the first time but i know that i had left the house because in our house they don't allow makeup then although now my dad doesn't say anything but i had left the house then that was the first time okay um what kind of books do you like to read i'm not really a book person like i don't read much but if I get to read romantic books, anything romantic, do that kind of books, then after romantic, then all this, not really motivation about all these biblical books. I guess I enjoy reading them too. Okay. What is the last film you saw? The last film I saw was um, The Demon Within. Yeah. That was the last film I saw. What kind of car do you drive? I don't have a car, my dear. I don't even have a bicycle for now. So that's just the answer. Okay, then. I think I've answered three or four. Let me answer one or two more. What language besides your native language do you like to be fluent in? Yoruba. I love Yoruba. Then maybe Igbo. Or Yoruba first. Yoruba first. Then the last question. What medical condition do you have? By the grace of God, I don't have any medical con condition. So that's basically... Let me stop this question here. Um, this On my list, this is number 200. Although I know that I got to skip some. But this is number 200. I know that I've answered more than 150 questions, almost 180 questions. So guys, that's it. Let me just end this video here. I know you are, it was so fun uh, shooting it. I know that you're going to love watching it. Please try as much as possible to watch to this time. And if, you, and if you've watched this video to this time, you are like the real MVP. Like, thank you so, so much. You are the best. Um, so don't forget, Lily Pope, I thank you to make um, this get to know me tag. Answer over 300 questions if you can. Thank you so much guys for watching like I really really appreciate it if you love to see the end if you love to see me answer up to 300 and something questions I've answered like 170 now or 180 if you love to see the remaining 100 plus just leave a comment in the comment section then I'll film um, a video answering the rest of the questions but I hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching if at the end you loved it please don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up comment share with your friends make your own videos in like manner if you need this particular video um the name of my my instagram name is always somewhere here just chat me up there i'll forward the questions to you i would love to really see you make this video but meanwhile thank you so much for watching i really appreciate it and i'll see you all in my next one but for now bye